put 90 million tons every day up there, and that's what's uh, drying out the soil, 60% of the country in drought last year. That's what's causing, contributing to the worsening of these fires in the West. West Nile virus, worst outbreak ever last year, Superstorm Sandy. Saturday, October the 27th, we're taking another look at Hurricane Sandy Ghost Satellite Loop. And here's the close-up. These loops are all from about 6 o'clock this morning. Some interesting things going on in these loops that uh, I want to point out. Persistent jet aerosol lined up northeast to southwest, completely out of context and not aligned with any of the other features in this loop. Next we see retrograde aerosol deployment over the storm on the north side. Everything is moving from west to east except this aerosol deployment that is moving east to west. And here is this morning's IntelliCast. Here is the wide view. And look at this section right here. This is another retrograde filling of aerosols from east to west. Keep your eye on this. You'll also see some persistent jet aerosols in the field. Right to left. There's little doubt that this storm is being intensely geoengineered. The consequences of what's happening right now will be felt at landfall on the other end. This is basis for a class action suit loss of life and property. If enough people in these states and the affected areas become aware that this storm has been manufactured, if you or someone you know may be interested in looking into options for class action suit, legal litigation, click the link in the comments section and visit our site on Facebook. <laughs>